As for China, every time we ask questions of China, it says the world is being racist. That such questions make Chinese citizens easy targets of racist attacks. It is true that this pandemic has given bigots a sorry excuse to target some people, and that is absolutely unacceptable. Our issues, let me repeat, are with the Chinese government, not the Chinese people, who themselves are sufferers. But we must say this: when China talks about tackling racism, it should begin at home. Foreigners are being targeted in China. A comic strip has gone viral there. It labels foreigners as trash. This report has more. This video is viral on social media. It claims Africans are being targeted in China. They are being asked to leave hotels, even vacate the houses they used to live in. They cannot give us hotel. They cannot provide a place we can stay. They are just following us. You see, they are just following us. They don't. They are victims of the fear surrounding the Wuhan coronavirus. The Chinese government says it has defeated the virus. New cases are being brought from outside, so Chinese people are targeting outsiders. Racism is rampant. Foreigners are under attack. They are being called carriers of the Wuhan virus. Bigoted Chinese citizens are now driving a campaign of hate, especially against the Africans. A comic strip went viral on WeChat over the weekend. It begins with a worker dressed in protective gear. He says his work is not yet done. Four dustbins are behind him. The next image shows another worker dragging a foreigner. He is labeled as household trash and thrown into a dustbin. Another sketch shows a man of color. He faces the same treatment. This comic strip seems to be inspired by real events because Africans in China are now facing xenophobia of the worst kind. The city of Guangzhou is known as a Little Africa. It has the largest African migrant population in Asia. Earlier this month, fresh cases were detected among Africans living in the city. Fake news began spreading. One story claimed that 300,000 Africans are infected in Guangzhou. A claim that was later denied by the Chinese state television, but that could not stop a wave of racist attacks against the African community. Allegedly, many of them were asked to leave their rented homes almost overnight. They are just not aware. They don't even allow us to. They don't even allow us. They are just. They are just walking on the road. You see, we are just. They cannot give us house. They cannot give us hotel. They cannot provide a place we can stay. Racism and xenophobia is now growing. An apartment complex in Beijing put out this message on its window: "We do not accept foreign friends." That's the message from the government, too. China has curbed the entry of foreign nationals. With the first reports of this outbreak, China began accusing the world of racism. China pointed out how its citizens abroad were being targeted, but Beijing is doing little and saying nothing about what's brewing in its own backyard. Bureau report: Weon, World is one.